Hi everyone, my name is Michelle White and I'm going to sort of lead you guys in this tutorial today as we're going to talk about the layout editor. So I'm going to break this tutorial up into two sections. The first part, we're mainly just going to cover this, this first landing page is sort of what I call it. And then the second tutorial, we're actually going to deep dive, we're going to create a layout, we're going to add zones, we're going to talk about apps and stylizing, all that sort of fun stuff when it comes to obviously creating your own layout. So let's go ahead and get started. So as you see, you guys, this is what this landing page, again, that's just the terminology I use as far as the layout editor. Now here at Reach, you can create as many layouts as you want. Uh, you can have as many layouts as you want. Um, obviously, as you guys know too, you can work with our designers. We'll sort of, you know, create these layouts for you. Um, again, there's a lot of options, but you're probably watching this tutorial because you want to learn how to create them yourself. So to get started, the first thing you would want to do, you guys, is just hit this blue button that says create layout. And then you sort of have this pop up sort of appear. So obviously you want to give your layout a name and then we have these layout sizes. So for the most part, everyone does the 1920 by 1080. Or again, if your screen is, you know, mounted vertically, we're going to sort of flip those numbers and, and do the 1080 by 1920. Now these other sizes are just popular sizes, right? They can be room schedulers or video walls. Of course, if you have something different, you can simply just enter the width and height in here and then you would just hit OK. However, let's just kind of back up. Let's say you already have all these layouts. As you can see in sort of my account, I've got multiple sort of layouts in here. Um, up here in that sort of top part right here, we have what we call a pagination. So this allows you to jump from one page to another page and, and sort of so on. Now, as a default, of course, you're always going to be on page one. And as a default, we're going to show you all of your layouts. But of course, you have this sort of filter option where you can filter to only focus on the active or again, the, the inactive. Uh, one question we sort of get when we sort of deal with these active and inactive is, you know, how do you know which one's active and how do you know which one's inactive? Um, basically, if the layout is assigned to a player, then it is considered active. And again, you can see in the column right here, it says player names. And then, of course, it's going to tell you. Um, of course, too, if it's assigned to multiple, you can simply select this layout and then you're going to get some layout details on the right side. So, of course, we can edit the layout, right? Maybe we want to switch out some apps or maybe you want to change some of the, the styling. We can simply hit this button, which would just dig us right into sort of that back end. Or you can just simply double click. So either option is, is completely fine. Uh, preview layout. So this is actually going to allow you to see the layout. So I'm just going to select this here. And then as you can see, this is sort of what the layout would look like. So that preview button is just, again, going to give you that overview of what this what this looks like. Um, layout name. So again, if you create a layout and later down the road, you're like, oh my gosh, that is a terrible name. Or I thought my naming you know, uh, convention was really good. Uh, of course, you can just simply change it. Size, of course, 1920 by 1080. And then the layout ID, not something that you would necessarily use, but... Um, it's more for the, the reach crew here. Essentially, if a layout does accidentally get deleted, uh, we can retrieve the layout sort of with this ID. So again, not so much for you, sort of more for, for the reach team here, but um, just kind of know what that is. And then again, player names, you know, which ones is it assigned to? And of course, if you select any of these, that's just going to be a shortcut that's going to take you right to the, the player page. All right, so kind of coming back to some more functionality here. Um, as you can see, each layout has sort of this wrench button is kind of what I call it. And, and anytime you're in the reach system and you, and you see this wrench, know that there's going to be some functionality that's that's underneath it. And so as I select it, we'll kind of cover some of the stuff. So of course I can copy the layout. Um, Again, maybe there's a scenario where I, I love everything that I've done, but I just want to make small one small tweak. Um, but maybe I just want to copy it and do that. So that would be sort of a scenario here. Um, copy elsewhere, where that kind of comes in handy is if you're set up as like an organization where you have multiple facilities or, or again, multiple locations, and you want to copy from one location to another location, this is where you could, you know, use this sort of functionality here. Delete layout, of course, I think that all makes sense. Um, security properties. So this is where you would go if you want to hide layout or, again, layouts from a certain user. So depending on how you're set up, maybe you have somebody that is building the layouts, but you say to yourself, well, I, you know, I only want her to focus on this one. Um, essentially, you could hide all the other layouts by using the security property. Generate preview link. Uh, I don't think this is something that necessarily you would use. Uh, really, again, the, the reach team uses this, but 
where we use this is obviously when you sort of come on board, you're working with the, the install coordinator and maybe we're still sort of getting your account set up, but we're also starting on your layout. So you're working with our design team, you know, we're creating the stuff for you. Well, there's got to be a way we want to, you know, to show you a way to sort of see it. Um, of course, we can get you the username and password, but maybe for whatever reason, it, it's just not set up yet. We will generate a preview link that we can send what the layout looks like. So that way you can view it. And then again, you can provide feedback to our designer on, on changes that need to be made. So that's kind of what the, the purpose of that button is. Um, also too, up here by the total layouts right here, we do have some more functionality. So this is gonna allow you to do sort of a bulk capability, meaning that I can select multiple sort of layouts here. And as you can see, when I'm selecting, I'm getting that blue dotted line. I can come up here and then delete all, or I can copy all. Um, so again, it's just allowing you to select multiple layouts and then put an action to them. Also too, the last and sort of final thing here is then we do have the show. So again, if you do have a lot of layouts, which some clients do, um, you may want to just adjust how many you can see on a page. And then of course you can always search for a particular layout as well. So that's sort of our overview of this first tutorial. Um, definitely watch the second tutorial. That's really going to do the deep dive of how you actually build these layouts. We'll go over how you add zones, what are zones, the apps, the stylizing. Um, it's really going to be a blast, so please check it out.